In contrast uh, with the Chinese, who managed to absorb every culture that came to it, and we see a persistence in their culture in this interplay between round and square, uh, the square being the earth, the round being heaven. This is the scholar's studio in the Lansu Garden. We have a situation where um, simultaneously in North America and South America, cultures are developing. Uh, in the South American culture, um, we're looking at the Olmecs and some of the early cultures uh, in the West that we didn't know anything about. Uh, and also in Africa, the Nok culture, about which we know very little as well. And of course, in Egypt at the same time, and I want you to understand these are all coextensive, uh, we have uh, Tutankhamun, uh, Hatshepsut, uh, the most famous of the uh, tombs and rulers, the most uh, beautiful time of Egyptian art and sculpture, but a time when they were no longer building pyramids. Uh, regardless of a death sentence, uh, if you were found robbing a tomb, uh, people persisted in robbing them. So that's a point of civilization to contemplate, that people would risk their lives for mere gold and trinkets. Uh, this is a long way from a hunting-gathering culture. And so this is uh, where we will end today. And uh, so it's chapter four, across the continents. You have a lot of material to cover. Thank you.